If you're having problems with Windows Update and you haven't been able to use the troubleshooter to resolve those problems, there are a few other things that you can do. The first thing that I recommend doing is unplugging any peripherals from your PC. I'm talking about anything other than the keyboard or mouse, so if you have a printer directly connected to the PC, you can unplug that. Unplug anything other than your keyboard or mouse, and of course you'll need a network connection. Then reboot the PC and see if Windows Update works. Hopefully it will, but if it doesn't, there are some other things to try. The next thing that I recommend trying is just making sure that you've got plenty of free disk space. Now, this is less of an issue with newer Windows builds because Microsoft actually reserves some space to be used by Windows Update. So the way that you would check disk space is by opening up File Explorer and looking at your C drive, going to this PC. So in this case, I've got 99.7 gigabytes free, so we've got plenty of free disk space. So the next thing that we would want to do is to close out File Explorer and then boot the machine into safe mode. And the way that you do that is by clicking on the Start button and then holding down the Shift key and clicking the Power icon and then click Restart. And I'm holding down the Shift key this entire time. And now I'm letting go of the Shift key and the system should reboot. So I'm taken to a screen that prompts me to choose an option. I'm going to click on Troubleshoot. And then I'm going to go to Advanced Options. Next I'm going to click on Startup Settings. Now I'm going to click Restart. And I'm taken to a screen that asks me what I want to do. So I'm going to enable Safe Mode, so I'll press 4. And now Windows will boot into Safe Mode. And you'll notice that Windows reduces the screen resolution because we are booting into safe mode. So I'll go ahead and enter my password. And I'll close this out. Now what we need to do is open up File Explorer. And I'll go to this PC. And then the C drive, the Windows folder. And we need to locate a folder called Software Distribution. So here's the software distribution folder. I'm going to open this up and this is the folder where the various updates that are downloaded from Windows Update are stored. So what we want to do is just delete all of this. So I'm going to select everything, right click and click on delete. So everything's been deleted. I'll close out File Explorer. I'll empty the recycle bin. And now let's restart the PC. And Windows should boot normally and so now I can log in. So what I did in that last step when I deleted the software distribution folder was I effectively got rid of the Windows Update cache, all of the updates that had previously been downloaded. The idea behind that is that if an update was downloaded incorrectly and became corrupted or something like that, then that could be causing problems with Windows Update. So if you go in and you clear out that folder, then you get rid of that entire cache and you can kind of start fresh with Windows Update. So hopefully now that that's been done, you can go into Windows Update and begin downloading updates in a usual way. So those are just a few things that you can try if you have problems with Windows Update.